What do I say? I'm really confused. Just like talk about them. Have you ever watched Come Dine With Me? Yeah. They just talk about the menu. You don't like apple crumble. That's a good point. I fucking hate apple crumble. Um. Here you go. Hi guys. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we're mixing it up a bit with the videos today. Leah is back um, and we are doing a come dine with me. So currently we are in lockdown again and we are living with our boyfriends currently. Um, so we decided the four of us, it would be fun to do a come dine with me because we're all really competitive <laughs> yeah. and we're all, we're all super close as well, which is really nice. We've seen a lot of these on TikTok as well and they just seem so fun. We've all Weirdly. decided our menus. Um, and we've all got an entertainment as well. So we're doing it like proper. If you've seen the Come Dine With Me show, then we're kind of following that. I really that, hope they have. That layout, like, yeah. If you haven't watched Come Dine With Me, then. It's a good show. It's a good show. So yeah, we've all kind of got our days sorted. I am going first today. I don't know why I decided to go first, but I'm just gonna get it over and done with. We're kind of making like a little series. Yeah. It's kind of like between the two of our channels, which obviously we talk about each other's channels a lot on here, um, but we will like link them below and stuff. Um, we are doing like a little Come Dine With Me series on our YouTube. So I am doing obviously this episode, which is going to be mine, and then I'm going to do My Boyfriend's, which is Hayden. And then Leah, Leah's channel will be hers and Brett's, if that makes sense. We thought like we'll split it up rather than doing like a whole video of all four, because yeah. that will probably be really long. So yeah. Depending on how it goes or whatever, we might do like a last episode yeah we're not sure or... like how we're gonna do the results yet but um we're just gonna yeah. wait and see but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this something a bit different something a bit fun pass the time in lockdown i'm really not creative and the only downfall i cannot cook <laughs> like i can't cook and <laughs> leah can cook like i two things yeah exactly <laughs> i thought you was gonna say i can cook i was like no i know <laughs> two meals no offense. and that's it yeah but then none of us can really cook to be honest and the boys like to think they can cook <laughs> but i've cooked every meal for brett this week and i live off frozen food <laughs> so like this is gonna be really fun i spent a good two hours making my menu this morning because like, i'm a bit ocd with things like this i'm like if i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it properly um so here's my menu oh <laughs> i like the images <laughs> very nice should i show you them <laughs> Could it focus? I, I quite like the colour scheme as well. Oh, it's not going to I don't think it's focused. There we go. Oh, there. oh no. There we go. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I really like it. Very nice. Thank you. Right, should I critique it? Yeah, not with me here though. <laughs> so I have decided to go for a Mexican themed night. Mexican night? Cool. I quite like Mexican food too. It should be good. Um, it's kind of half Mexican, half not. Um, I've kind of called it Mexican night, but make it with a bit of Suffolk, because that's where I'm from. I know that Mexican food is her favourite kind of food, so that doesn't surprise me. So for starter, I've gone for loaded nachos, because it's such a safe option, isn't it? Like Loaded nachos, can't really go wrong with that kind of basic kind of pang. I've had her nachos before, which are really good. Loaded nachos, wonder what they're loaded with. I've brought like guacamole, you'll see it all later. Main is enchiladas, made from a kit, but... Hopefully no one will realise. Enchiladas, probably made with a kit, so that's going to be downgraded there when I mark. Never had her enchiladas before, so I'm excited to try them. With homemade potato wedges and Mexican rice. Extra marks for the homemade potato wedges, if they taste nice. Enchiladas with homemade potato wedges. I've tried those potato wedges before and actually pang, so I'm looking forward to that. Then for dessert, I have famous Stone Market Princess Bombs, which are actually shots because it's a games drinking night, so I thought, you know, get it going early. But then I put in brackets and you can have an apple crumble with custard if you want. I did actually make the apple crumble earlier, which I'll show you guys. That is homemade, but the custard is not. <laughs> Princess bombs, if you didn't know, well, you'll see later, but they are proper good. Um, so that also involves drinking, which is always a positive. I'll be eating the apple crumble, because why not? And Princess bomb, never had a Princess bomb, so I'll have that. Um, apple crumble, don't like fruit that's heated up to be honest, like pineapple on pizza, what is that? 
Then for my entertainment, I've obviously gone for a drinks night because if I give them enough drink and enough game, they're bound to rate me high later. And then for entertainment, we've got drinking games and sausage rolls. Um, yeah, I think this sounds like a very nice menu. I'm sure that she'll be able to pull it off. I like the restaurant. The... I don't know if you can see it. Restaurant of Ruskin, that's quite nice. Um, overall, not bad. And yeah, I called it the Restaurant of Ruskin because that is where we live. And I thought, you know, good alliteration, nice and catchy. So that is my night. Yeah, overall a very solid menu. So I'm looking forward to this, Eddie. Yeah, this should be all right. Entertainment looks good as well. So. And um, she's making sausage rolls as well. So yeah, calm. looks good. Can't wait. Guys, are you excited to be on our YouTube for the first time? Are you recording? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've been asking, asking for the past, yeah. like, weeks to be on YouTube. Yeah, you have. <laughs> Liz forcing us. I've been trying to convince Brett to be on my YouTube channel, and now you're finally making it. But you guys are actually really going to enjoy it, and I think it's going to be a really fun video. This will be the making of you guys. Watch them go more viral than we've ever gone viral. So guys, that is it for now. I hope you enjoy this video. It's going to be... <laughs> Stop. It's going to be super fun to make. And I'm going to win. So I hope you all vote me high. And catch you in a bit. So guys, earlier I made an apple crumble. And I'm going to do like the little blue Peter thing. Here's... Okay. Here's what I made earlier. And it's my apple crumble. Apple and raspberry crumble. And I've never made... Never made this before, but I don't think it turned out too bad. I literally dropped it on the floor. But other than that, oops, that's quite good, isn't it? So now I am going to attempt to bake my mum's recipe of homemade sausage rolls. It's not really that homemade because I use puff pastry that's already just roll puff pastry block. But it's not actually part of my main menu. So because my theme and my entertainment is like a games night with lots of drinking and we always get really really hungry after we've drank so these are the after food so when they fancy something to eat they can just pick up the sausage rolls and i feel like that will get my points up so i've brought in a helping hand apparently he knows how to make sausage rolls cut it into two and then cut it in half again and roll out brilliant Guess what we need? A rolling pin. What are you doing? Can you roll it? Look at that. As you can tell, it's gone so well so far that we don't have a rolling pin. So now... Leah, do you have a rolling pin? <laughs> no, nor do I. <laughs> do you know what would be good? Butter it. What about oh, wobble! You're like, what? <laughs> Please, can I use that? That's quite a good idea, Rifle. Do you know how you I do this? Yeah, how you use that? That's where you put chunks of butter on it, don't you? On the actual pastry, or has it already got it on? It's already got it on its pre made pastry. Use the water. Oh, use a glass. glass. If anything, you need flour, it's really sticky. Yeah, you need flour, not butter. You need to warm it. <laughs> Sorry that you didn't buy one that's already rolled out. I had to give up already. I thought this would be really, really easy, and it really, really isn't. And you know when you just start something, and now like I really can't be bothered. Guys, if I knew how messy and gross and clueless I was at making these sausage rolls, I would not have made them. However, um, with a bit of help of Hayden, who is probably going to mark me down anyway, I have managed to produce these. Oh my god, they look a mess on camera. I'm now going to put them in the oven for, my mum said like 30 to 40 minutes and to probe them. However, guess what I don't have? A probe. So I'm just going to guesstimate. Like, what can go wrong? I'm going to do them like that on the same shelf. Because then they'll cook at the same pace. Same pace, is that a thing? This is a lot of effort. <laughs> I forgot to set a timer for my sausage rolls. I'm happy with them so far. If I do say so myself, I am hoping that they will carry my points up because nothing else will. I have done so many chips 
well they're kind of like chips slash potato wedges um for tonight because i know that everyone loves them and then i add a few like spices and stuff from here and then i use this which is so good which make them so so nice right guys i am all prepped i think and ready to go and get ready have a shower well no have a shower go and get ready get dressed and then actually start cooking it potatoes veg nachos chicken that's grim and my sausage rolls aren't doing too bad they've got a little while longer they're not gonna lie guys they look a little bit overdone but i'm thinking it's just because of the chutney and i just want to make sure that the meat's cooked in the middle but thoughts they smell really good that's good oh, they smell thanks everyone so i'm now just going to finish all the bits put the chips in the oven fry off the veg sort out the nachos all of that um but i'm not going to film any of it because i'm far too stressed to also think about filming um i know it's really really bad but i will try and film as when i can um but now i really just need to like chill because i'm so not chilled i need to finish getting ready and i need to pour myself a fat glass of wine because i need it and yeah see you guys in a bit i am beyond stressed this was so much harder than i thought i thought everything was organized everything was sorted but like everything just happens at the same time um but i think i've got it under control the table is set as you can see there enchilada mix here my nachos look so good they're gonna go in the oven in a minute so now i'm gonna get the wraps out of the oven fill the enchiladas put the nachos in it is eight o'clock exactly so hopefully we can all sit down and eat at some point very very hot i feel like my leather trousers are like melting to me as i stand in front of the oven Ooh, i'm proud of these they look good and these are my enchiladas ready to go in <laughs> hang on okay <laughs> really your own boyfriend taking notes on you. Taking notes on all of you. <laughs> what? Oh dear. <laughs> Guys, rate the presentation. What does it look like? Do they look good? Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm calculating your score right now in my head. Yeah. <laughs> Glad everyone's happy. <laughs> Hi guys, so we have just finished Ellie's meal. It was very, very nice um, and we're about to give her a score. So I had a really nice evening. The nachos were lovely. The main was really nice. The enchiladas were a little bit spicy, but they were still really nice. And that's just because I cannot handle spice. Um, potato wedges were really good. I will say about the main, you lied about making the rice yourself. You didn't homemade the rice. It was a packet, but so I've deducted a mark for that, but all the meal was very lovely. The apple crumble was such a nice way to finish the meal as well. The only criticism I have with that was that it could have been a little bit warmer when it was served, but um, all in all, it was a very solid meal. I've had a really nice evening and I'm looking forward to the rest of the entertainment. So I struggled to decide what mark to give you. I couldn't decide out of an eight or a nine, but I don't wanna go too high just yet because this is the first night of the week so i am going to give you an eight tonight um just because i feel like it's a really good score and yeah it gives me leeway to mark other people throughout the rest of the week so i really enjoyed your meal and i'm looking forward to the rest of the evening um so hey guys we've just had our dinner um i've voted the food um a seven because I don't we had apple crumble after I'm not a really big fan of apple crumble but the enchiladas were good the nachos were good um so yeah and then entertainment a nine really close maybe even a ten um so I'm gonna give this score an overall the overall score of the night an eight eight can you see that eight well done loved it thanks I had a little notes here. I thought the presentation was really good. I gave it gave it a ten out of ten. I thought it was good. Starters loaded nachos. They had a bit with sour cream. Don't like sour cream. So gave it a seven out of ten because the nachos were good but they're just nachos, no offence. Um the mains again you did use a kit. Yeah I thought it was maybe a bit too much sauce. Didn't say it to you when we were there, I didn't want to dampen your spirits, you know, for the evening, but give it a 
8 out of 10. It is now Monday morning and I realised that I never actually finished filming this video because Saturday night got a little bit messy but that was the aim like my entertainment was a drinks night um with lots of games so we played like uno um higher or lower we got out our drinking board game that we made um and it was actually a really really fun night i'm really happy with how my night went considering i cannot cook and i cooked everything at once and it was so much more stressful than I thought. In the end I ended up having no cutlery or bowls left because I used them all. So I ate my apple crumble out of a saucepan with a teaspoon but it's fine. <laughs> Improvisation at its finest. But overall I'm really really happy with how my night went and I haven't watched any of the clips the guys have filmed like talking about the night and stuff but I'm hoping that they didn't say anything too harsh. That is it for this episode of our Little Come Dine With Me series. Check out my next video for Hayden's night tonight, which is going to be interesting because he doesn't really, well, he doesn't do YouTube, so that's going to be fun seeing how he films his episode. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Do follow my socials, I will put it here and I will also link Leah's socials and her YouTube in the description as well so you can check out the rest of the Little Come Dine With Me series we've put together. I hope you are all staying safe and well. I will see you all in my next video.